Welcome back to That Handicap You Show, sponsored by RacingToday.com. I'm Claire Novak, joined by Frank Angst. Time ticking down to the Kentucky Derby, presented by Yum Brands. And this weekend, a very busy weekend of racing between a great card in Florida, Louisiana, and Dubai World Cup Day. We're going to take a look at the Louisiana Derby and the Florida Derby, both a million dollars, both a mile and an eighth. Three-year-olds looking for points on the road to the Kentucky Derby. Frank, let's start in Louisiana where you have the same cast of characters coming out of the Risen Star, the prep race there, Intense Holiday, the winner, Albano, uh, and some others that were in the mix there. And then we have a shipper who you and I both settled on liking. So what do you think about this race? I mean, there definitely looks to be some early speed in there again for Intense Holiday to try to make his run again. Mm -hmm. But in trouble, even though he is one of those horses that appears to have early speed, he's the horse that I landed on. Um, I think the New York uh, Aqueduct races have been quite tough this year and In Trouble made his debut in that race and went to the lead in that race and then before fading the third. Um, but the thing about it is, is that horse had been off on a layoff mm. and a lot of times when a horse comes off a layoff they'll run faster early than they normally would. Right. I, I think this horse will be a little bit more settled here. Maybe he is on the lead but I, I just think he will be more within himself. Mm. Uh, forwardly placed but within himself mm -hmm. and then I think he'll be able to make his move at the end of the race. Yeah this is the Anthony Dutro trainee tis wonderful Colt and he did run very well for coming off the layup went behind um, Samrat and Uncle Cy who of course have been beating up on each other in the prep series there so third in the Gotham you really can't blame him for that first time off the layup and this is the horse who won the Belmont Futurity uh, in September, that was his stakes debut straight off his maiden when he's only raced three times. And, and also in the Gotham, he drew to one hole, mm -hmm. which it kind of almost, it kind of forces your hand. So not only was he a layoff, but he was in the one hole. Kind of made sense that he ends up on the lead there. Yeah. Um, like I said, he might end up on the lead here, but I do think he'll be more within himself. He'll have a chance to track more from his outside post here. Mm -hmm. And I, I like how this shapes up for him. Yeah, I like the way that in his two earlier races, he was up close to the pace, but not necessarily setting the pace. So I do like that. And you said the circumstances in the Gotham probably contributed to him being on the lead a little bit more. Um, as far as some other horses in here to round out, you know, choices, what are you, what are you thinking here? Do you think Intense Holiday is the real deal? I'm still trying to make up my mind about this race, so. I think Intense Holiday hits the board. Mm -hmm. Rise Up is still a dangerous horse. He could definitely bounce back to, to the better form that he showed last year. Yeah, he was a little bit rank in the, uh, in the Risen Star, so hopefully he calms down. That was the first race off the layup for him as well. All right, moving down to Florida. And of course, this is a long-awaited return of Cairo Prince. I'm very curious to see your opinion because sometimes you tend to say, oh, toss the favorite or whatever. And so I wonder, uh, there's two, two things here. First of all, from my perspective, it would be great to see Cairo Prince just romp because at least then we would have one contender who's been consistently amazing, even though he's coming into this race having had 60 days between the Holy Bull victory and, and this race. So I would like to see him win. Do I think that he is going to? Not necessarily. So tell me your thoughts. I'm Cairo, I was there that day and Cairo Prince certainly impressed me and I have him picked second here. I, I think he can run big again. I won't be shocked if he wins. The horse I landed on though is Spot, um, who's won two of... What you need to do with Spot is kind of toss his first three starts. <laughs> Then all of a sudden he looks he a lot more. He looks a lot more logical once you do that. Yeah. And the reason you can do that is the first three spots starts were on all all weather surfaces and turf. Mm -hmm. Once this horse has moved to turf dirt, he has two of three wins. And once he moved to trainer Nick Zito, he had his most spectacular win to date. Um, since that time, he has also been working well, mm -hmm. which to me says that you have a horse on the upswing, which is the kind of horse I like to bet in these prep races. And I would love to see Spot win, see Spot run, see Spot make the Kentucky Derby. That would be great to have Nick back on the Triple Crown Trail. And I love the connection, the story of the connections. His owner, Joseph Moss, is an elderly gentleman, I believe, in his early 90s, who has really wanted a good horse and finally seems like he's, he's found one. So I think great rooting interest there. Cairo Prince, uh, you do have him still to run well, like you said. I and can't go against him. I mean, he, he, 
What more could he have done in the Holy Bull? Yeah, exactly. And he ran very impressively there. My concern with a couple of the other horses who have kind of been beating up against each other, Wildcat Red, you know, we still have distance questions for him. General A-Rod, these two have been going at it. And I just, I don't really see that you can belly down like that in some of these prep races and successfully hold together all the way through the other side of the Triple Crown. As far as this race, does one of them still have enough in them for this race? Potentially, however, um, you know, pace-wise and, and scenario-wise, those two going at each other and a couple of the other speed horses in here sets up better for a closer like your horse or Cairo Prince. Well, it, it would seem like it would, but the one thing at uh, Gulfstream ah, Park... that's right! The have, speed favorite track! You have to watch. It's not like that every day, but the majority yeah. of days it has been. And on some days, it goes to even another level hmm. where it is just virtually impossible to pass anybody. If that's the case, I might have to re regroup on my thinking. But going in, I'm, I'm sticking with Spot, who actually made a nice run against a track that was relatively speed favoring the day that he won in his previous start. Well, Frank and I pretty much picking same horses in the same races. Spot in the Florida Derby, in trouble in the Louisiana Derby. Thanks, as always, to Briss for the PPs. Thanks to RacingToday.com, our sponsor. For Frank, I'm Claire. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.